In September 2020, the Trump administration ordered Al Jazeera's AJ Plus to register as a foreign agent. The US Justice Department said AJ Plus was acting at the direction and control of the state of Qatar. But Al Jazeera argues its Farah declaration is a political move meant to satisfy the United Arab Emirates. I'm Ali Mustafa and this is AJ Plus Decoded. In 2017, Saudi Arabia, United Arab Emirates and Bahrain imposed a blockade on Qatar. They accused the tiny gas behemoth of supporting the Muslim Brotherhood movement and demanded that Qatar shut down its Al Jazeera network. Since starting Arabic broadcasts in 1996, Al Jazeera quickly grew into a multilingual media powerhouse, breaking censorship rules allowing for previously silenced voices to start transmitting into millions of living rooms across the Arab world. Qatar's influence grew further with the Arab Spring protests in 2011 on the back of Al Jazeera's non-stop coverage. It was the channel of choice for opposition voices challenging despots from Tunisia to Egypt and beyond. The Arab masses were glued to the Al Jazeera screen. They watched Muslim scholars like Yusuf Al Qaradawi rally the masses against Arab dictators. But the Arab Spring would turn out to be a double edged sword for Qatar, now completely isolated from regional neighbors. By firmly taking a pro democracy stance, Qatar had directly challenged the UAE's interests in the Arab world's largest country, Egypt. The UAE saw Al Jazeera's favorable coverage behind the political rise of the Muslim Brotherhood. So when General Abdel Fattah al-Sisi removed Egypt's first democratically elected President Mohamed Morsi, the balance shifted in the UAE's favor. Al-Sisi arrested several Al Jazeera English and AJ Arabic journalists. Many others were charged in absentia for supporting the now outlawed Muslim Brotherhood. It was during this time Qatar launched an American network it had originally brought from Al Gore. Qatar spent an estimated $2 billion on Al Jazeera America and its digital affiliate, AJ+. While AJAM failed and was shut down, the $30 million investment on AJ+, paid off. AJ Plus's coverage also focused on the Saudi-led war in Yemen, the UAE's growing influence in the Middle East, and of course, the Saudi-led blockade of Qatar that was being supported by the Emiratis, by Bahrain, and by Egypt. Farah requires journalists working for non-US media funded by foreign states like Qatar to disclose their relationship to American authorities. But it's not just AJ Plus that has been asked to register under FARA. This network, Turkey's public funded TRT, was asked to register as a foreign agent in the US in 2020. The listings are further proof that FARA is a powerful tool in American hands to differentiate foes from friends. Take the example of the British Broadcasting Corporation. The BBC World Service and BBC Media Action are funded by the British Foreign Office. Yet, as allied media, BBC isn't made to register as a foreign agent by the US. The censoring of AJ Plus is also the result of an expensive lobbying campaign by Akin Gump, which is ironically the UAE's registered foreign agent in the US. By listing AJ Plus and its journalists as Qatari foreign agents, the US has lifted the curtain on a biased, highly selective system of rewards and punishments. All animals are equal, but some animals are more equal than others. Look up George Orwell's Animal Farm and tell me what you think on Twitter at Ali underscore Mustafa.